G'day. Today I'm going to show you how we remove these pesky 4L60E Torx uh, head bolts. Now quite often, um, as we've done in the past as well, I can show you they're in so tight that you will actually bend or twist the little you can't seem to get it to focus there you go you can see we've stripped that one off got another one there that's actually twisted and another one that we've sheared it off and that sort of thing now sometimes using an impact driver like so we'll get them off but the way you can do it I'll show you a couple of ways of doing it you can either heat them up with an oxy but risk doing damage to the bell housing or something like that um, you can get a big punch like this and make and a mallet and just tapping on the outside of it give it some good taps and also good idea to have one that fits inside it give it some taps inside too And then make sure you're pushing in as hard as you can with your Torx and a breaker bar. It's still pretty hard to get off, it won't go. And I don't want to damage at all. And I'll show you how we actually do it now before you even attempt taking them off. Just like your stove tops, it's one of those jiggers. And what you do, you put it onto the bolt like that. And you'll see after a little short period of time, that will actually glow, glow red. Put it on there, there we go. I can feel the heat coming off it already. Now it does take a little while to warm up. You can see how hot it is. It's on 180, 190 degrees Celsius. So I'll just leave it on there for a little bit. And that's showing the temperature of that uh, coil, not, not the bolt. And you can see it's starting to glow red. Just going to leave it on there for a couple of minutes. And I'll give that a crack now. And there we go. Just barely cracked it, but. melt something and there we go come out quite easily just a bit of patience and they'll come out but we'll go on to the next one over here we probably need to just just reshape that I've sort of twisted it out it'll just make it sit on on the bolt a little bit better so I'll just let that cool down and then I'll do that another one on there, different one. They come in different sizes. The reason why these lock up so tight, the head of the bolt's got a flange on it. So you got two different types of metals. You got the alloy and the, the metal, or the high tensile metal, and they heat and cool at different rates. So over a period of time, the aluminium actually locks onto that flange. You've got a great surface area there that you've got to crack open and the little splines 
or those little teeth are too fine to handle that sort of strength. You can see this one's taking a bit longer because it's a bigger coil, but it's finally got to, to be red hot. I'll just leave it on there for a little bit. There is a thermostat on these guns. Comes off and on by itself. I'll give that a crack now. This one here, I didn't tap it with the hammer like I did with the other one. goes it still comes off tight but it will come off now I've got the breaker bar as well now I've managed to remove one two three four five six seven of them except for this bugger I've ended up stripping the splines on the inside there if you can see that so basically now the only way to do it is to drill it out you might be able to get a chisel onto it, but you risk damaging the bell housing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill it out. And if you use an 1132 drill bit and drill down far enough, this head will just come off and then I can take the whole bell housing off. There'll be like a stud left inside that in the case and then I can just work that off. You're using low speed low speed on your drill uh, very high tensile so you've got to go low speed and just slowly drill it out I'll probably need to resharpen this drill a few times Sharpened it quite well. Still sharp. Just conked out of strength, that's all. Oh, hot, hot. There you go. I've drilled the head off, as you can see. Now I can just lift that bell housing off. And now, believe it or not, I haven't touched it. Watch this. It can actually come off with, with your fingers. There you go, you little bugger. I won in the end. I got you out. Anyway, hope that's shown you how you can have a bit of fun getting these off. Thank you for watching.